Since 2016, Tesla and Dalhousie University in Canada have been working together to create a special battery using nickel that could last for a really long time, up to a century. This new battery combined with the strong energy power of nickel batteries with the long lifespan of lithium ion phosphate cells, so it's more powerful, long lasting and cheaper. Introducing the Tesla Cybercell, a new advanced level battery that's going to replace the current 4680 batteries. By making the production more efficient, they've reduced the cost to an impressive $50 per kilowatt hour, which is way less than Tesla's $104 for the 4680 cell. In simple terms, EVs are going to be much more affordable. Plus, in earlier days, if you need to replace the battery in a Tesla Model 3, it would cost you more than $15,800. The battery itself was about $13,500, and the labor expenses added up to around $2,300. But now, because of the 8-year or 50,000-mile warranty and the possibility of using the battery in newer models, you could save a significant amount of money. Most importantly, the new battery, which uses nickel and manganese, has an impressive energy density of 300 watt-hours per kilogram. This outperforms the current Tesla batteries, allowing for longer drives with a smaller battery pack. In comparison, the Model Y 4680 cell only has 244 watt-hours per kilogram, so this new battery is leaving it behind. But here's the interesting part. Elon Musk's creation is undergoing some changes, and there's a shift happening from the original nickel-manganese cathode and graphite-silicon anode design which is making waves recently. The newest version had a setback because they replaced the silicon in one part and added cobalt in another because of technical issues. This change made the price go up a lot and the performance went down. The 4680 battery had a storage capacity of about 81.2 kilowatt hours, providing an energy density of approximately 229 watt hour per kilogram. In comparison, the previously used Panasonic made 2170 batteries had an energy density of 262 watt hour per kilogram. This resulted in a 13.3% decrease in energy density for the 4680 battery, leading to slower charging, a shorter overall range, and a generally unfavorable reception from customers. Consequently, production of the 4680 battery effectively ceased after the initial Giga Texas production run, prompting Tesla to seek a replacement. As for Cybercell technology, it maintains the same dimensions as the 4680 batteries, which is 46 mm by 80 mm, but incorporates significantly more advanced technology. Here in Texas, we're preparing to launch our Cybertruck cell, which has 10% higher energy density than current production, said Tesla's senior VP for powertrain and energy engineering, Drew Beglino, according to Green Car Reports. That was accomplished through process and mechanical design optimization. Now you might be wondering, in which Tesla model will Cybercell make its grand entrance? Well, there's no prize for guessing that the Tesla Cybercell is probably set to make its debut in the recently delivered Cybertruck. That's why it's named Cybercell. Tesla was on a battery production frenzy, churning out a whopping 10 million Gen 2 4680 batteries, aka Cybercell at Giga Texas, from January to June. But another 10 million batteries were manufactured in the following four months, cutting production time in half, with a bold target of reaching 30 million batteries by this year-end, and hopes of further slashing production times. Tesla is on a monumental mission. On the flip side, the Gen 1 4680 battery, found in a specific Tesla Model Y variant, weighs 355 grams and holds 81.2 watt-hours of energy. It has an energy density of 229 watt-hours per kilogram, which is good, but there's a catch. The Cybercell, despite being good at production, isn't as efficient as the standard Panasonic 2170 batteries. The 4680 battery has an energy density of 252 watt-hours per kilogram, but the 2170 batteries have a higher 262 watt-hours per kilogram. So even though the Cybercell is impressive, the 2170 batteries are still better overall. Now here's the plot twist. Some speculations that for the heavy-duty high-torque Cybertruck, it seems like Tesla might stick with the Panasonic batteries. Why so? Because standardizing Cybercell batteries could potentially mean a reduced range for the Cybertruck. So while the Cybertruck is revving up the game, Panasonic batteries still has a home in Tesla's arena. Let's talk about the Cybertruck's battery power. The Cybertruck has a big battery, 
that can hold 100 kilowatt hours of energy. The actual results show that it can go about 250 miles on a full charge, which is a bit less than what was promised. A more realistic guess suggests that a smaller 60 kilowatt hour battery could make the truck go over 300 miles. Reaching 500 miles might be a bit hard to achieve. However, Cybercell is not devoid of all drawbacks. Let's check out the challenge Cybercell faces in its multitasking adventures. That jaw-dropping 500-mile range for the long-range Cybertruck? It seems like a stretch, especially when you factor in the considerable weight gain. Even the 300-mile contender could use some extra juice. We're talking about a hefty 130-kilowatt-hour battery at the very least. Realistically, make that a 150-kilowatt-hours of battery, a good 50-kilowatt-hour more than what the Tesla Model X needs for a similar range. And that's if the drag coefficient plays nice with Tesla's other sleek rides. But here's the kicker. The Cybertruck's current range might not be cutting it for the heavy-duty escapades it's designed for, like towing and off-roading. While a dual-motor Cybertruck with over 300 miles has been confirmed, it's doubtful those lofty promises of a three- or four-motor Cybertruck cruising over 500 miles will come anytime soon. You can expect a potential battery upgrade, possibly the game-changing Gen 2 Cybercell. Drew's hint about a 10% energy boost sounds more like a mechanical design wizardry than a chemistry breakthrough. Exploring Tesla's new patent ideas, there's talk about the Gen 2 design trying to fit more power into a smaller space. It's like making space for more jelly rolls, which are the battery material. We're all curious about what exciting things might happen next. Meanwhile, over at Giga Texas, where they're exclusively pumping out these cyber cells, they just hit over the 20 million mark, signaling a major production boost. But the plot twist is that the current production speed might give us around 34,000 cyber trucks a year. Cool, right? but not so cool when you look at the pre-orders and realize it's going to take a while to meet that demand. Speaking of the Cybertruck's performance, it's looking good in terms of weight compared to the Model X, but when it comes to heavy-duty tasks, it's kind of lagging due to that low range. Choosing the Cybercell battery for towing and heavy loads might not have been the best move, making the truck less practical for those who need an extended range. And then there's the elephant in the room, production capacities. Despite Tesla pushing to scale up Cybercell production, it's not enough. They're cranking out batteries for about 650 Cybertrucks per week, hitting around 34,000 trucks a year. But with nearly 2 million pre-orders, you do the math. That's a massive backlog. Don't get your hopes up for a quick delivery if you're on that waitlist. But don't write off the Cybercell batteries just yet. Tesla's dropping serious cash into their development, promising some game-changing updates. They're tweaking the mechanical stuff for better performance without messing with the structure or chemicals. The Cybercell might even outshine the Panasonic 2170 battery soon. The next-gen Cybercells are supposed to bring in structural and chemical improvements, taking notes from the Panasonic 2170 batteries for the necessary corrections. Tesla really wants to produce more batteries themselves, like the 2170 and 4680 types. These batteries should be cheaper than what Panasonic makes. At first, the Cybertruck will use the batteries they already have, but Tesla plans to use better ones later for more distance and better performance. They didn't meet all the promises made in 2019, but they're doing a good job. As technology gets better, we can expect lighter electric cars and even better batteries. This might mean we get upgraded versions of the Cybertruck sooner. Tesla faced some challenges at first, but they're doing well in making their own batteries and we can look forward to more improvements, especially with the newer generation 4680 batteries. A lot of people are excited about the Cybertruck. I am too. I've driven the car. It's an amazing product. I do want to emphasize that there will be enormous challenges in reaching volume production with the Cybertruck, and then in making a Cybertruck cash flow positive, Elon Musk said at the latest earnings call. So what are your thoughts on this revolutionary leap in EV tech? Share in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and hit the like button if you're charged up for the future of electric vehicles. Thanks for watching.